Hello everyone, it's Carlene. Hope everyone's well. I um, I'm coming on because um, I received some more mail and in my mail I discovered another parcel from um, Janet Kay. And she put, um, what does that say? You are capable of amazing things. And then she put this cute little sticker on. So I was really surprised that I got another parcel. There's the card. Beautiful butterfly. Beautiful. She sent me an ATC card she made. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at it. Be authentic. Be in love with your life. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you. Wow, look at the flowers. Some pearls. Flat back, are they pearls? Very pretty. I love it. Thank you so much. I can't believe I got another parcel from you. Look at this beautiful bag. Isn't that gorgeous? And in here are some flowers she made. Oh my gosh. They're gorgeous. They are so pretty. Am I showing them or am I just staring at them myself? Um, it's, it's so nice to get handmade things. I just love them. What? I'm too scared to use them. I put them somewhere just so I can look at them because they're so beautiful. Thank you so much, Janet. Again, thank you, thank you. These are lovely. So, um, on our trip, we came across a liquidation world. Oh, I don't want to wreck those. And so I picked up a couple of things. One thing was uh, this for five bucks. It's uh, face masks. Masks came, comes with everything to make uh, some face masks, um, the cream and the um, oils and spoons for stirring and the containers. So I thought this would be good for Gracie and I to put together. Then I got some st uh, stickers that I had never seen before. I mean, I've seen butterflies like these sort of, but not these colors. And they were a dollar and I got two of everything, so. Dragonflies are all very pretty. And then I also got an AliExpress order. So I um, got these. There are little sticker book stickers. It's a sticker book. So I bought two because I like buying more than one because I like to share things in happy mail. And then I got this die. It's supposed to be clouds. I think down here, whoops. I think down here is supposed to be waves, so for water maybe. 
And then I got sort of a mountain and I guess grass, clouds. Then I got these and I ordered three because I, I thought these were really cute on dangles and stuff. So I made sure I got lots so I can share these. Then I also got, okay, this, this one here I think is Amazon. I ordered this and it came in this pretty bag but I had lost my pin to my um, art glitter glue. So I thought I'd order a couple more pins and I was supposed to get three pins in this container, but it came in here, like I said, and then it came with a spoon and then it came with this little cloth and it came with six instead of just three pins. And then it came with, <clears throat> excuse me, all these little cards. <laughs> So but I thought that was pretty cool to get a little extra in there after I ordered just three pins. So that's my share for, oh no, that's not. So I've been really, really excited because I found this cut and dry foam stamp pad. Now, I ordered this and I, it wouldn't come to my address. So I knew I was going south. So I got it delivered to my daughter's address. So I was able to pick it up when I got there. Um, so the idea is, is you can cut this however big or small or whatever you want. And on this side, you actually can use it just to put spray ink, you can spray your inks on it and stuff and then put it on your project or you can dab it into um, your inks that are on your um, glass. If you if you take your Distress ink pads and put it on and add a little bit of water, you can dip it and then put it on your project for making cards or anything, ATC cards or whatever. But the other side was the part that uh, got me excited was because this side, I'm sorry, I'm reading here too, so I have to make sure I get this right. Um, you heat it up with your heat gun and then you press a stamp onto it and it, it will indent to make the pattern of the stamp and then you can ink it up and put it onto your project after you wipe it off you heat it up again and it goes back to this so you use it over and over and what i really got excited about was the fact that also you can, uh, they showed where they used lace, like um, a doily, and they heated this up, pressed it on the doily, had the imprint of the doily, and then inked it and just put it on their project. Um, they did a few other things too. So you can find things around the house with some texture and do uh, use it. So if you don't have a lot of um, fancy stamps or anything, this is really cool, I thought. And what I really find cool is that you just heat it up again after you clean it and it's back to flat. So I'm really excited to play with this. So I'm going to try it out and see if I can make a couple of projects and I will be back um, in a day or two and I will show what my projects are. So anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.